It's getting harder to get lost in Dorset. That's if Bailey, the new trainee, has anything to do with it. He's from Dorset Search Dogs, an organisation run by volunteers. Bailey's still learning, but Charlie's fully qualified with a proven track record. Oh, he loves it. He just thinks it's a big game. He's, he's got no idea the, um, you know, when he gets a find, when he helps save a life, he's got no idea what he's done. We had a moment where we um, helped find a missing lady in the fern down, and um, all he wanted to do was play with her by keep throwing his squeaky toy towards her and um, couldn't really understand why she was in no fit state to uh, play a game with him. The dogs specialise in air scenting. This means that instead of the traditional method of following a trail, they can sniff the air and find any people in the immediate area. That means that up to 80 acres can be searched in less than two hours. Their rewards vary from dog to dog. Charlie gets one of these. Whereas Bailey does it for hugs. The force helicopter and police dogs are primarily trained to catch criminals and search for contraband, although they can also track vulnerable people. Turn there to your right, turn there to your right. However, when it's a large search area and someone's unable to move for some time, the trail goes cold. That's when Dorset search dogs are invaluable, helping the emergency services to save lives. Adrian Busworth, Dorset Police, Delft Woods.